Hey guys, Chad Trofgruben here. In this Flash tutorial, I show you how to organize your movie with the scene panel. As you can see on my screen, I have a familiar file open if you have viewed my tutorials before. It's simply a character walking across a screen. If you're doing cartoon animation in Flash, it's safe to assume that you're going to want to go beyond just one shot or one scene. I mean, this isn't really much of a cartoon if I just have a character walk across a screen and that's it. So how do we get those additional shots? How do we move beyond this first scene? Well, there's a few ways you could do this. First, you can make new layers and just build your new scene off of those layers and just not extend your existing layers to those new frames. You could make new FLA files for every shot and basically keep everything self-contained, which I know many people do that actually. Or you could use the scene panel and organize all of your scenes in one FLA file. And that is the method I'll be showing you here today. To begin, open up a file that you want to add a scene or shot to, or you can just make a new document if you want to follow along. Next, we need to open up the scene panel. You will find this on the right side of your screen if you're using the Essentials workspace. It should be right next to your library. If you don't see it, go to Window, Other Panels, Scene, and that will open it up. Now, I'm assuming you'll only have one scene listed on your scenes panel, and that's because that's the only scene you have on your screen right now. That's what you're seeing. Now, what happens here is if we add additional scenes, we can basically create blank documents within our FLA file and have each scene flow from one to the next. So to do this, let's come down here to the bottom of our scene panel and click Add Scene. You'll now have a blank document on Scene 2. If you click on Scene 1, you'll be able to go back to that first scene that you worked on. And of course, Scene 2 has your blank canvas. So now you are free to go through and animate a new scene out if you wish. Additionally, if you want to retain animations or assets from a previous scene, you can duplicate the scene, which essentially just copies the scene from one to the other. So if we click on scene one and come down here to the duplicate scene button and click that, you'll see now that we have a copy of that first scene and it's a direct copy of it. So then you could just pull it apart and you could modify it however you wish. If you ever need to delete a scene, just click the delete button on your scene panel and just click OK. So now let's animate something out on this blank scene. I'll just go back here to scene one and go to my final frame and just copy this symbol, this character symbol. So I'll just click on it and then hold in control C, go back to my second scene and control V to paste. I'll take my scale tool and just hold in shift and enlarge him really quick here and move him down like that. Go back here to my first scene again and I will grab the fence, the sky, and the mountains in the background. And I will copy all of that with control C. Then going back here to scene two, I'll make a new layer, move it below the character, and then hold in control shift V to paste in place. And again, I will use the scale tool to just enlarge the objects I have put down here and nudge them over like that. And I will also put my fence in my hills 
on two separate layers so that they're separate from the sky. So I will just click on the fence and cut that, make a new layer, control shift V to paste, same with the mountains. And I can even move these up a little bit if I wish. And now let's go to about frame 80 on our timeline. Starting at the top layer, I'll just click, hold in shift, click on the bottom layer, right click, and insert keyframe. Now I'll just move my fence over and my hills. Maybe not as much, about like that. And then I can insert a classic tween. Or I could have done a motion tween. I guess I'm just so used to classic tweens, I kind of forget about the motion tween sometime. But anyway, now we just have a close-up, basically, of this animation going on with a tracking shot focus on the character. And if I go to Control, Test Scene, I can see this scene play out. It's a close-up and we have the character walking along. Now, if I were to go to Control, Test Movie, and then Test, it's going to play both of these scenes. It's going to start with scene one, then go to scene two. So let's try it out. He walks, and then we have a close-up. And then it'll just repeat over and over and over, unless if you specify otherwise. So that is a little bit with scene design. Just remember that your scenes will flow from one to the other, unless if you specify otherwise with action script. And if you're planning to do these as videos, you shouldn't have to worry too much about the action script portion or having your scenes jump from different points because you're probably going to want your video to be linear, going from point A to point B and so on. Finally, if you want to organize your scene panel further, you can always double click on your scenes to edit their names. So for instance, I could double click on scene one and name it beginning. Scene two could be close up and so on. Also, you can rearrange your scenes at any time by just clicking and dragging them up and down on the list. So then close up would play first, followed by beginning if I did this, but I'll just move it back like that. And from here, you can just continue to make as many scenes as you want. I opened up an old file of mine, an old cartoon I did, and as you can see, I have lots of different scenes. And each time I do a new scene is when I have a different shot. If I go from a close-up to an establishing shot, or if I just change the scenery, I change the scene. It just helps me organize the file. And as you can see here, I have close-up, then I have a different scene, then I have another close-up and so on. So that's how I organize my scenes. Anyway, to wrap this up, if you are looking to do more detailed cartoons, I definitely recommend that you use the scenes panel. It will help keep you organized and help you create a flow for your movie. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.